Method Fire Cannonball is called in response to the double tap event, which we processed, as you recall, in the Cannon Game activity by using a gesture detector. So when the gesture detector determines that a double tap has occurred and calls Fire Cannonball, it passes in the motion event that indicates where the double tap occurred so that we can then use that to aim the cannon at that point and also to fire the cannonball in that exact direction. Now we only allow you to fire the cannonball if there's not already a cannonball on the screen. So if there is a cannonball on the screen we simply return. Otherwise we call a line cannon which is down here and we'll look at that in the next video to specify the angle of the cannon. Then at lines 309 and 310 we put the cannonball into the cannon by setting the X coordinate to the cannonball radius and the Y coordinate to the screen height divided by 2. At lines 313 and 316 we do the calculations to determine the X and Y velocities which help make sure the cannon goes off in the correct angle towards the point where the user touched the screen, double tap the screen and we indicate that the cannonball is now on the screen. We add one to shots fired to keep track of the total number of shots fired and we play the cannon sound so that we hear the cannonball as it's fired from the cannon.